Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given question. <clears throat> Here, I need to find out integral 0 to pi x sin x by 1 plus sin x dx. Okay, fine. Uh, I'm going to go a bit slow because I know that many of you feel integration is tough, all that is not. But still, I'm going to go a bit slow. Please, So, please stay with me and listen carefully if you want to understand. Okay. So first, take the given integral as i, okay, let i is equal to integral 0 to pi, this is a given integral and uh, mark it as equation 1, okay. Next, indefinite integration, there is a property which states that integral 0 to a f of x dx is nothing but integral 0 to a f of a minus x. Now, what does this mean in simple words is that in the function, instead of x, you can use a minus x, okay. So basically here, what is my a? Pi. You see integral 0 to pi 0 to a so instead of a I have pi here so instead of this x okay wherever you see x in this equa in this function instead of this x I can use pi minus x so that's what the property means with the same limits same limits of the integral I'll get in place of x I can write pi minus x so pi minus x, x into sin pi minus x divided by 1 plus sin pi minus x dx all good Chalo. next what is sin pi minus x it is sin x okay basic trigonometry in case you for like i just mentioned the reason so wherever you see sin pi minus x you can just write it as sin x now multiply now expand this bracket pi sin x minus x into sin x I'm just expanding then dx mark this as equation 2 okay now chalo now what you need to do is what you need to do is you need to just add these two equations add equation 1 and 2 add 1 and 2 so in the lhs have i here also have i <coughs> so i plus i is equal to this is my first integral dx plus and second integral dx fine chalo now if you'll observe in these two integrals the integral is same i mean the limits are same and the denominators are also same so i can write these two integrals in just one integral and since the denominator is same i can simply add the numerators i can simply add the numerator so i'll get x sin x plus pi sin x minus x sin x so fine as i mentioned denominator is same same so i can simply add the numerator so x sin x minus x sin x they will cancel out each other okay and then i have integral 0 to pi pi sin x dx and then i plus i is 2 all good Chalo. now next this pi is a constant you can bring it outside the integration so 2i is nothing but pi integral 0 to pi sin x now how to integrate this okay from here on stay extra attentive i need more of your focus okay from this i'm going to teach some new things from here from this point on now first what you need to do is add and subtract one okay add and subtract one this is the method one plus sin x minus one okay write it like this okay now split the denominator to both one plus sin x you take as one term and one minus one as another term one plus sin x by one plus sin x minus one by one plus sin x i'll get see you see i split this denominator I did the, the denominator i just split it to this and this now what will I get by doing this? See how, how what I'll get. See these two will cancel out each other. This was the reason I did this. These two cancel out. So I'll get 2i is nothing but pi integral 0 to pi. 1 minus 1 by 1 plus sin x dx. All good. Chalo. Next. Next. So fine. Now what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate these two terms separately. One as one term I'm going to treat. One by one plus sin x I'm going to treat it as another term. So give the integral to both. Integral pi into, uh, so pi you bring it here. Okay, simple. Pi you bring it here. So 2i by pi. Pi is a constant. You can just bring it here. Now integral 1 dx minus integral 1 by 1 plus sin x dx. You understood what I did? I sent this pi here. So the integral I gave to both like integral 1 dx, integral 0 to pi 1 dx minus integral 1 by 1 plus sin x dx. I hope it is clear. Okay. Now you can integrate this directly. What is integration of 1? It is x with the limits 0 to pi. Okay. And in the second integral to integrate the second integral, what you have to do is you have to multiply and divide with 1 minus sin x. This is the method. Okay. 1 minus sin x by 1 minus sin x. Because there's 1 plus sin x. If I'll do this, I'll get 1 minus sin square x, which is nothing but cos square x. For that purpose, I multiply. You'll see it. You'll see it now. Okay. So 1 minus sin x by 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x. Okay. All good. Next. Now, for this, apply the limits. First, I put x as pi in place of x put pi, then z minus 0. So pi minus 0. This integration will be over. Now, next. 
as I mentioned, 1 minus x, 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x is like a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So here I have 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x. So that's nothing but 1 minus sin square x. Fine. What is 1 minus sin square x? Cos square x. So and this pi minus 0 will be nothing but pi. Pi minus integral 0 to pi 1 minus sin x by cos square x dx. All good. The same one I am just writing it in the next slide as it is. Okay. Now what I am going to do is split this split this denominator cos square x to both to 1 and to sin x also. So what I will get is 2i by pi is equal to pi minus integral. See how I am using brackets effectively. So please make sure that you are using brackets how I am using it so that no mistake will happen. Okay. Okay. Now here a little bit of explanation would be needed. See. 1 minus 1 by cos square x, right? What is 1 by cos x? Secant x. So 1 by see 1 by cos x is secant x. What is 1 by cos square x? Secant square x. Okay. Likewise, what will be this? Sin x by cos square x. I'm going to write it as 1 by cos x into sin x by cos x. Okay, see one, I have cos square x. So one cos x I wrote like this into sin x by cos x because cos x into cos x is cos square x and one into sin x is sin x. I just split it as one by cos x into sin x by cos x. What is one by cos x? One by cos x is nothing but secant x. What is sin x by cos x? Tan x. So the first term will be nothing but secant square x. The second term will be nothing but secant x tan x. Okay. So 2i by pi is nothing but this is not pi minus integral 0 to pi 1 by cos square x as explained is secant square x and sin x by cos square x is nothing but secant x tan x. Okay. Now this multiply this take this minus inside the bracket. So this has minus so this will become plus so minus into minus so integral secant x, x tan x this is plus so minus if you will multiply minus secant square x. All good. Now again split the integral. I mean integrate both separately like integral 0 to pi secant x tan x dx minus integral 0 to pi secant square x dx all good chalo we are coming to the end stay focused okay stay focused i know this is a bit lengthy and could sound difficult but stay with me okay if you are inter if you want to learn this okay you need to stay focused if you want to learn this you need to stay focused chalo 2i by pi is nothing but pi plus integral this what is integral secant x tan x? Secant x. Integration of secant square x tan x. So this will be nothing but this entire integral will be secant x. Limits are 0 to pi and that one would be tan x 0 to pi. Okay. I wrote the limits like this. Actually, it would be good if you can write the limits like this. Like if you could write it like secant x 0 to pi. See, this looks more nice, more nice. But in PowerPoint, it's coming like this. It's so close. You can write something like this when you write notes. Okay. And then the basic substitution of limits, you know, see a uh, first pi, uh, so 2i by pi is another pi plus secant pi minus secant 0 and minus of tan pi minus tan 0. In place of x first put pi, then minus tan 0. Fine. So next secant pi is minus 1 and minus secant 0 is 1. So tan pi is 0 and tan 0 is also 0. So pi minus 2, I'll get minus 1 minus 1 is 2. Uh, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and pi is already there. Now send this one here, okay. The 2i is nothing but pi into pi minus 2 and 2 you send it here. 2i is nothing but pi into pi minus 1 by 2. That's it. Thank you very much for staying with me up till now. I know this could have been a bit lengthy and a little difficult for you. But you can listen to the video again in case you have any doubt. If you still could not get it, ask in the comment section. I will be there to help you. I will try my best so that I could help you out there. Okay. And not just this question. I made some other questions related to definite integration. You can check them out i'll try to make sure that the uh, playlist description uh, playlist link is in the description okay and not just this you can check out questions from circles theory of equations quadratic expressions binomial theorem i'll try to put those uh, playlist links in the description as well and if you're not able to find them you can just browse my channel you will be able to find it out fine so thank you very much for staying with me up till now in case you like this video Please hit the like button, it will encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it.